is about to be a complete example of that. Mm -hmm. I, this time last year, you would assume Rewind Grand Final was quite convincingly. Yes. You know, or, or many of the other players that we've seen today. Right. Combat was here. VGY was here. Exactly. But now, here are the twins. They just popped up one day for many of us. Yep. And uh, now they've just taken both grand finals of the biggest offline Mortal Kombat 11 events since and, the pandemic. And, and for someone like me, and I know Dijon as well, and you know a few others that, that, that might follow uh, him and those tournaments, we've seen them before. And even we, we knew what they were capable of against each other and against their own region. Going into CEO, going into this, we were like, how do they perform against the others? Because we know what they're capable of, but how can they perform? And they've matched it. I mean, they've they've just amazed me as they've never ceased to amaze me. I told you the, since the first time I saw them, my jaw was on the ground the entire time because why are they doing the things that they're doing as consistently as they're doing? Even in the Night Wolf mirror that we saw in CEO Grand Finals, people were like, "Oh, they're trolling." They were play, they were doing stuff we can't do. You know what I mean? They were flawless blocking everything. They were anti-airing everything. They were exposing every single gap. The execution was great. They're just that good. And right now, they're just better. It's a terrifying thought to see where this Grand Finals is going to go, what characters are going to get picked. I guess we're moments away from finding out. But you know what, folks? Oh, it's been three years since we've sat here at Combo Breaker, watching a Grand Finals of two of the best Mortal Kombat players in the business. It's so unbelievably good to be back. I cannot describe how much I've missed this. Aquaman, it's been a pleasure to sit and commentate this top eight. With you guys. And obviously, shout outs to you for all of the Coliseum and the community tournaments. Which is the stage that we're going to. And I want to make one quick note on the Coliseum real quick that I forgot to say earlier. Sure, that, sure, sure. Is that if you're planning on competing in EVO this year, which Mortal Kombat 11 will be at. Yes, sir. The Coliseum Season 4, it takes place perfectly between Combo Breaker and EVO. Sign up. It starts next week. It ends the weekend before EVO. If you want that practice in, we got you covered. But it looks like we're starting off this grand finals of the legendary in the making. Brothers of Nicholas and Scorpion Prox. Nicholas on the winner's side. So winning this one three out of five, that's it. That will be the end of the tournament. Nicholas going in with Fujin as well. He knows that Scorpion Prox in that Nano. They run back in grand finals. We see two completely different characters from both to get started. Scorpion Prox. We're going to take a page out of the book of Rewind and snap the backs of his opponents with the Lumbar checks. And it's bullying him. Ooh, he's ready for the flawless blocks, though. Now we're going to see that mind game develop between the two. Not afraid to check right there, either, and take his turn. Woo! Nice little, nice little cheeky instant jump board in that combo. Wow! Even if that did, oh my lord, the whole string went over. Can't really say I've seen that all that much before. So Scorpion Prox, this is a good start to be in, as I say! Oh, oh, oh break the broke! End of the round! You're dead! GG. You are dead! Round, round one. one for Nicholas. Look at his damage. He's, he died before that hit? Wow. Such a late breakaway attempt by Scorpion Prox is going to be... Oh, that's a four rule. Two. Talk about threading needles. That could have been KB. A lot of players would have gone really counter hit KB there, but the important thing was sacrificing a little bit of damage for the corner position. So much more important. There's the KB though, working on a flawless victory. And okay, we're starting to see that string a little bit more now, but clearly a bit more burst in it. And it comes, the knowledge walk in, the knowledge. Oh my God. The knowledge on both because everyone's gotten hit by that cheeky separate string. That's a big damage. Going for the gut. Mm, right to the face. One more kick. Oh, this is just abusive. One more mix up though. Scorpion Prox has him down to 165. Lumbar check. Did have the bar to kill though. Sweet chip. No, I'm scared. Nicolas can still do this. Flawless blocks to avoid the chip. 10 21. Look up for the 4 3. We've seen it go under in this matchup earlier. Respect the win push. 49 81. Flawless blocks to avoid it. He gets one health remaining. Is that going to chip? No. no Not way. Double one HP. Double one HP between the twins. I cannot recall the last time I saw that situation before, but when twins play fighting games, I guess that kind of thing just happens. But now look, one round of peace. The punish on the bio call. Not a lot of damage, but hey, anything's better than nothing in that situation. Plus frames to begin. Scorpion. What? 
challenging the plus frames. Maybe he's missing out on that one right there, but that unconventional brawl lighter, I've seen a couple of times from Scorpion Frogs already. And, and is this our first, maybe, glimpse at him seeing, I don't know, maybe a little bit of execution error because he's gone through 17 different characters? Or is there some tech to it? Oh. No tech about that. That thing's hitbox is everywhere. It'll suck you up no matter where you're doing, no matter what you're doing. And knock down. 50 50 times. It was the overhead! We haven't seen a lot of the overheads from Kanos tonight so far. Scorpion Prox has the lead. Plus frames. Still challenging this Nico loss. No fear against his brother in this grand final. And that's the kind of challenge you only see with people that play an absolute countless amount of matches together. Now the whiff, the breakaway saved him temporarily. Doesn't manage to get a challenge on that overhead, but Nicholas needs to make something happen! And he knows! What are you doing to challenge that? That was a fatality. We heard it. Maybe I... it was a friendship. Oh, wow. Who cares? <laughs> that was so quick, though. But you said, what do you do about that? Um, you go to the next yeah. game. Yes, you do. When you're at well, you know what? It sounds like they heard you, Miss Ackman, because that's exactly what we're doing. Keep it in. Here in the Coliseum, too. Love the stage. And you, that is such good tech in this matchup. Not letting, these two don't let, him, let each other get away with anything. And you compare this to any, almost any other tournament situation, and people get away with little things like that, right? We're used to seeing Buja just reset neutral and fly away. He said, no, 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 get over here. Oh. Even little things like comboing an opponent, they use breakaway, and then use it to get like a free jumping kick or something. Even that situation is getting more to block, either with an up two, maybe not necessarily for breakaway, obviously, oh. but look, you can't get away. We've been seeing the escape happen all day long. Now, optimal, or, Semi-optimal. We didn't get the standing one, but who cares? You know what? That's still well hard, and he's going to go into the fatal blow. Now, this is not going to kill, but one more potential touch, essentially, is going to do it. Can these two stop putting each other so low on health that now we got a scramble situation where any touch on both sides will do the job? And Nikolas, when he's been down to the wire, the flawless blocks have been pristine to avoid the chip. Oh! Cursed why, uh, you know. Cursed him. Definitely your My bad. Yep, I, I, I take responsibility. Round two, fight. Where do we go from here, Ackerman? Back against the wall, but with that full screen presence. Oh, I don't know about that, because you are in a lot of trouble. Scorpion, thankfully, doesn't have meter. So you're not going to be able to get the step play, but all oh, the punish on the knife toss. He knew it. Scouted that out. Perfect. When we saw this matchup earlier, what was it? Rewind versus Hawk Machine? It's a matchup that we saw, but we didn't see, and there's no offense to Rewind. But we didn't see the kind of anti uh, turbine tech that we're seeing in this, like, on this consistently. Oh. There's the meaty pressure. The Scorpion's going to capitalize on it. Empty jump. I mean, we just talked about how they don't let you get away with a jumping after break. Clearly, they know that because that's why we saw a break into an empty jump. You didn't see that much. Mm -hmm. Woo! Such a quick reversal, too. Report. Oh, I thought that was the arm break. Nope. And what? What just happened? Disgustingly good with punish. Nicholas pushing forward again, expecting a button. There's the wind push. Needs a little bit more though. No meter to make it count, but there's the running punish on the bio pool. Now one round apiece. Scorpion Prox, if you're in losers, you have loads of games left to go. You've got to make this one count. 2-0, maybe even a 3-0 to reset. It doesn't take a lot of time. And then bam, we're going into the fresh set. Forward three, Annie, are you serious? Woo! Gets a punish and they have been consistent on those biomagnetic pulls. Again, a lot of murder that I see get away with in competitive play is that biomagnetic pull. And Nicolas says, get that out of here. We see almost shades of a rain roundhouse of old with that KB. Not able to breathe as Scorpion. Nicolas, okay, the bio pull works. No defense card to worry about. Pull cash out. A little bit of dark damage on there with the lighter fluid. And head doing the headbutts of doom. And out of disrespect of the plus frame, still Nicolas, I'm out of here. Okay, one game apiece. Dude, they are restarting match, frame one. Frame one restart. Now, is it back to character type? Looks like it is. So is it gonna be Kano? Is it gonna be someone else? Curious over how things are gonna develop here. Maybe some time to think. I mean, you can actually see it here. I mean, they they both play, I think, Fuji. the same characters at the Fuji. same level. You know, like, we, we, we've seen Fujin from both of them. We've seen Cabal from both of them. But against each other, what's it going to be? It looks like we might be going back to the Oshtek Kodal. 
Retro King. For Scorpion Prox, and he has a couple of tournament wins against Nikolas and against, you know, tournaments in general down in Latin America like we were talking about. Recently, has been winning them with Kotal Khan. Just want to give you guys at home a little bit of knowledge on that. I, I, I was DM'd by Dijon instantly. He's like, yo, Scorpion Prox picked up Kotal, and he's already winning. What? What? <laughs> he was taking a sip of water and literally spit it out. Oh my goodness. What? I have never seen a commentator get his body to catch up right now. He was taking a sip of water, and that was so effing ridiculous that he spit it out. All right. I am wearing my mask though, don't worry. Um, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, that was that was really weird. I, I'd never seen that answer before, but you know what? Actually, it doesn't matter. Scorpion Prox still able to land that command grab. Bit of a life lead here. Oh, you want to press buttons, dear? Take this. Oh, that one not active enough to stop the wake up jump from Nicolas. That's a lot of health coming at you. That's a big boy moving mighty fast. Jails off the down to hit advantage of the forward one. No hits. But no balls blocking the gap that we saw earlier from Nicolas on the forward one two into the disc. Bro, hits are landing though. No. Didn't have any meter. Had to just make do with the rest uh -huh. of the string. And that'll be it. Sets him with his chest, pounding it. Takes the round convincingly. Has a wonderful position too. Is he gonna turbine out? No. I think I think Nicolas knows not to not to tempt fate. A little too much. Oof. The interactive usage. Already phenomenal from him. I mean, just being aware of the other player's respect. You're gonna sit there and respect too much. Yo, that's standing one anti here. And then the flawless block. And then the successful mix once more. That Kotal Khan is looking real crispy. I mean, clearly one of his more recent characters, but you take the rock solid fundamental spot. And then you put a character like this. Excuse me? What is going on right now? Excuse me on that parry? And, and I've never, have you ever seen a Fujin not do back one one? Which would have punished the parry? Uh-oh, okay. Look, if you're gonna get any kind of comeback, you gotta make sure you get big damage now. You're not gonna necessarily need Fatal Blow for everything else that you do. So, you know what? Take the damage for what it is. Have to work your backside off right now, but Scorpion Prox, again, just remind right, the one-one situation. Two one's gonna be pretty attractive if you're on the loser side. Tries to pick up. Oh my god, that oh. is a mistake! Oh. It's no punish, the sweep is gonna connect! Did you see how low connected to the ground? Guaranteed. Guaranteed, a little bit of damage right there on that launch. Why are they so optimal, Mr. Ackerman? I don't know. Yeah, that's that. something Kotal players don't even do, by the way. That's that, that's how insane that was. Getting a little more guaranteed damage than most other Kotal players would do, which is just a forward one right there. We've seen that all tournament long. Con cut forward one. For the Stop it. We can't do it. We can't say a sentence without two things being flawless block. And there's the confirm that forward three hitting its mark and then getting a juicy 26% because of it. Comes on now. Oh, the neutral dark! How is he ready for all of this? His face showing him no fear right now as Nikolas, and I like that response. Woo! Bold hey. plays to do that. Under wave dash. The Scorpion Prox there didn't take the guaranteed damage of the Fatal Blow. He's, he's going to be saving those resources just in case, unless he gets them in one more BNB. &B. The float cancel afterwards is the only way out of avoiding that KP. That is a matchup specific thing. After the 17th character that they've picked amongst each other, I my brain might explode. Fail. How much more Round is this matchup going to develop? That's what I'm thinking. This is the grand final. And again, two for two. And then we take the armor break. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say right there. Dude, when I was 16 and I was waking up in the morning, I couldn't even decide what cereal I wanted to eat. Optimal with the forward one con cut conversion. 340. And the step back baits the button. Scorpion Prox is cooking. He oh. tried to get sensationally up. Oh. But it doesn't matter, we still got meter two He's guaranteed. Dead. He's dead. Hey! Reset point. But what you guys are seeing right there, even the down one and the three four is is what we would tell people not to do because it's so hard and so tight. Now the reset point is real. As the round three enters the greatest soundtrack in all of Mortal Kombat, that subway theme. Shout out to Dan Borden. Oh yeah, we're ending, we're ending on a classic here tonight, guys. Oh. Oh! And we still pick that up. Not only has has Fujin been taking the breath out of opponents tonight, it has been taking the breath out of us in this grand final. 
You can say that again, dude. And now Scorpion Brox, wait a second. Doesn't go in for the Amplify. He does plus frame. The breakaway. Now plus frame. Forward three, and we just confirm. Go for the jump in. You get some damage. We'll take that 30%. Thank you very much. And here's the win push. Is this going to be enough to bring us into a game five? Pre-reset. Maybe not. Uh-oh. That was so optimal for no reason. I half expected him to just take the command grab ender and then be at a strike distance in the fatal zone to kill. But he just decided to be so optimal for no reason for more I'm done. All right. Have, have a great night, everyone. All right. Combo Breaker 22 has been fantastic. These two are effing stupid at MK11. Gonna be honest, Miss Ackerman, I almost made the same mistake twice where I just had a sip of water while you were talking about that. And then I saw that. Thankfully, I finished my sip right before that ball was blocked. Into the tournament reset. Now it's one final best of five. And then Combo Breaker will be over. But, I mean, they're one to one now. Are we gonna stick with these characters? Who knows? What? Man. That's it down too. It looks like Scorpion Prox is getting more and more comfortable with the reads on Nicolas right now. Because we're seeing some bold ones. And the more that this progresses, he even read that the breakaway was gonna come. Stop it. We're starting to open up those layers of mix, Mr. He, Command. He's getting a taste for Elder God's blood to catch up. Ooh. That's the slowest. That's the least amount of time. That's the least amount of movement I've seen from Scorpion Prox all night long. Was that, I don't know, one and a half second. Oh, oh no! no! They're going into the immediate restart, but what is wait. that going to be? Wait, 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 wait. What does that mean? What does that mean? They're going to go in desync. I'm a bit confused. We'll Where see. does that leave us? We'll was, see that, that that must have, was that an external controller press? Must have been. Must have been. And the, the iconic stare back at the crowd to see who it was. And these gentlemen, let, let's see what the ruling is on this one. We'll I'll wait on that, but I'm just gonna risk it for 10. That's business as All usual right. once again. Well, oh, the optimal straight away. How do you get pulled out of a game like that? And then you just jump straight back in. And then bam, you just hit the optimal, you know? I think we're just getting a really, really fantastic display so far. But it does, as you can clearly see, looks like because it was an external person just pressing the button. We just got in for a restart start. of the match. I which mean, had, that twins, right, that would do it. Yeah, which has taken a little bit of momentum away from Scorpion Prox now, as he had this start before that unfortunate altercation of technology and Bluetooth. A swift reminder, folks, to always disconnect your pads in tournament. And if you are the one going onto the setup to play your match, oh, yeah, you're you're the you are the pad. one that has, you have to DC. Otherwise, that's kind of on you at the end of the day. Yeah, it's physically impossible for a player who has just played to disconnect their Bluetooth device. The person that sits at the station has to do it. Obviously, they forgot, but you know what? They immediately went and prevented it from happening again. There's the first round here for Nicholas. While you can. Nicholas going to be pretty happy with that result, but there's plenty more work to be done here. What I'm wondering. Oh, God. I don't know what you're wondering. Who cares? What I'm wondering. God now. That forward too. 19 frames of Ashtag Justice, but so many people know the range and are ready for it. With that false block, I've seen it so consistent in this tournament, but Nicolas has taken that false block. That's what I'm done. I don't want to talk anymore. What more do we have to say? This is ridiculous. Letting the whole string rock. Taking the minus frames and forcing that mid command grab. Smart stuff here from Scorpion Frog. The trip guard though overextended and gets the KB. Ooh oh, I got a full three four. This is some juicy damage of protocons as well. Has decent knockdown off this, but the bad side is that he's gonna fling him out of the corner here. Get up, get off that sword. That's gonna be really good for Nicholas. Dirty it up. Scorpion not afraid to push in. I mean, the flawless blocks have been 100%, but until he just only just built the meter to do it. Okay, really smart there. A lot of people fall for that amplified disc of Portal Cons. They're so used to crouching that it becomes a mid on the amplification. That was again a little more uh, knowledge that we see from Nico Loss. Snipes him with the back two. Still one away for both. Still flawless blocking every poke that they do. It's a computer just playing for both of them. Oh! Oh my 
my goodness! My that was Lord, Mr. That was the only time that that interactable setup didn't work. What would have been the game winner for Nicolas? And this cannot be scripted any better. That flawless blocking each other's turns in those final moments. It's literally like we're having a computer. Now Play for both of them on all very, very, very hard. All they're doing is what they do for eight hours a day at home, and we're just watching. And it's like it. this is how they got so good or something. Yeah. But either way, if you guys want to know how, this is how. They're actually practicing as we speak. Yeah, let that one sink in. You missed that. You were looking at me. I was. Forward three from Fujin. Flawless block up two. Roche. Delayed up two. Fight. I wish I could have seen your reaction to that, because that is the exact kind of Kotal Khan play that would have made you very happy. Oh, I mean, he started off with one, abusing one of the best anti-airs in the game, Kotal Khan stand one. In this variation in particular, we talked about the damage off of Kotal Khan's up two, and you were like, whoa, hold on a second. He also gets the, the, some of the biggest damage off an anti-air, near 30% meterless off of that stand one, because you can buffer Khan's cut, like you see him do. Hello, and look at that damage. The oh, didn't end it. Oh, the chase down. And that forward one into the Khan cut. Speaking of which, down one. Oh, give me those optimals, baby. Ooh, so much respect right now. <gasps> if I just oh. back, no, it's dash, I think. Regular throw, escape failed. This is a scary, scary character all of a sudden. If things weren't bad enough, now here comes the crushing blow. So you've got to be so careful up here for those regular grabs. Throw, puts you at death territory. Something in the fatal... Jeez. That would have been it! That would have been it too! No fatal blow on both of them! This oh, is gonna be it. away! And the headbutt from hell is going to put Scorpion Prox up again. Missed two fatal blow pickups and was still able to get a 30% grab to close it out. He had more damage on deck than most characters. I don't even know where I'm going with this statement. It just did a lot of damage, yeah? Yeah. There you go. Moving on into this next round. No in this position, I mean, you have to capitalize on even the smallest, most minuscule mistake. Because they're both playing so well here. Case in point, that if there is anything to be called an error, you have got to punish it the best you can. Woo! Building that space as Nicolas, and that's what he needs against Kotal Khan. What? Little check with the 1-1-2. One, one, Fell out of the last hit, and all for not. Even Scorpion Prox there, like, oh man, I don't, know, I don't know about that one. Thought he was gonna try to rob him right there. Still in some recovery Fight. frames. This is still going on. Nicolas could tie us at one apiece. It's a first to three, and the winner will be Combo Breaker Champion here. Take a rather respectable ender. I guess Silver Lining Scorpion's having an opportunity to build a little bit more of that defensive bar that he was so desperately looking for. Plus frame. Lawless blocked the challenge though. Love to see it. And we see a mid. Oh! Just the, just raw challenges that they're that they hit confirm every single time, right? Forward one, two, gonna be safe on block anyway. And that's a beautiful threat of dashing up into a space and then looking for something to react to. Down one, steal the turn. Staggering the standing one. You want to force the one, two, two. I dare you to do it, buddy. Fujin, sometimes just catches you movement, and Scorpion Prox has been moving an awful lot. You be careful. Is it forward to range? Kotal Khan says it's my turn there. Get the space again. Wow, he was ready for that! Regular. Up. The old school 1 2 command grab. Doesn't amplify for the quarter though. Just wanted the OD. Try to bait a wake up roll right there. I think it was the pick. And he tried to stand one fatal. Same exact reasoning that you see Kotal Khan go for down one fatal. You've seen it multiple times in the tournament already. Looking to make a read on someone, making a read on command grab, and he didn't fall for it whatsoever. And the now last he goes. Time, the last time we saw that exact same situation, it was reversal mid command grab. That's it. Mm hmm. It was, it was mid command grab, it worked out, and I think in that position now, you're gonna expect a command grab, you're gonna jump out, that standing one would've caught you nicely. Hard read of the hard read, but I read all the same. Wait a minute, Jody K. The caller was looking good. It was, I'm surprised. 
again, perhaps Simon sensing that your brother is getting a bit too comfortable with Yeah, yeah, he was like, wait a second. It's time to throw in something new. Hold on. Mind you, this is how it went in CEO 2. Reset, game five. Round one, fight. Well, a change of scenery, different interactables. I do wonder if they're going to make much of a difference. The ball is blocking. Oh, God, that hurts. Talk about an optimal punish too, to flawless block something and get Johnny's 4-4 four four to punish. Because so many people, again, will auto-default to the regular combo starter that could not be as optimal damage starter-wise because it's on the slower side, because they knew that they were going to flawless block it. That hurt to even say. <laughs> That's right, they got through the tongue twister. However, we're going to turn things around now. Nicholas has to be very careful of these projectile trades. You trade wind push for the uh, multiple, and that ain't even a trade. You're just getting hit. There ain't no damage being dished out to the opponent there. A lot of what's nice here. We know that these boys aren't afraid to disrespect Johnny. It's Johnny's pressure on Oki anyways. Oh, it's hit That's gonna hurt. Good read there from Scorpion, deciding not to break. That wind kick had his name on it. Oh my god, the punish! And here comes the combo! Wait. Stop it! I thought I was going get down with Shadow Kick in there at the end. That was kind of sick though. That and was kind of sick you though. Kind of sick, kind of ridiculous. Astronomical. Round two. Out of this world. Fight. And Scorpion Prox has... A Oh, hey, we, oh, my lord. It hey. sure is uppercut up in this place. It's uppercut season. The Scorpion Prox is getting more and more confident with the button presses I've noticed since the reset. 60 health and the choice of Johnny Cage. He hit so many raw normals, raw specials that were confident reads that could have got him killed. The raw down twos, the raw shadow kick at the end. Just sent a statement to his brother, this deep in a bracket. And now will we see a final switch from Nicolas? Oh, I think so. Oh, we are back at the character selection. I think it, it went in such a way that surely, what? Whoa. Hang on a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Nightwolf. Johnny Cage. I'm very confused. Trying to perhaps bait your opponent into picking Nightwolf. A repeat of CEO, as it were. Oh, yeah. oh we saw it. Yeah, we did. It was a great Special moment. But nope, he it's said going to be the Johnny Cage mirror. He said, brother, just like it's CEO, it can only be determined one way in a 5-5 matchup, the mirror. Because that's what this Grand Finals is, a mirror of these two. All right, so wait a minute. In the Grand Finals of Combo Breaker, we have two identical twins in the game that could be the final match of the tournament playing a mirror match. The mirror matches within and outside of the game. This is what I live for, Acrobat. In and out, living and breathing, Mortal Kombat are these two. You know what would have been actually really funny if this happened at some point? Is if Mustard was here to join us. So it could be twins on the desk. Yeah. Twins on the stage. I agree. Mirror match in the game. What is going on here? Wow, that was so optimal to read the breakaway that late too. And that is going to be a potential one input error, the one input error that we might be able to say, oh or was it a godlike read reading a jump? It's genuinely impossible to tell with these two, my friend. Oh, that uppercut, I think that might have been an execution error there. I know that shadow kick wasn't. Scorpion Prox is not afraid to just do it. Hey, oh. See, a little bit of hesitation this late, though. First execution drop in a while. By piece, we're starting to chunk it away. We saw earlier on with video game Joe versus combat, this mirror match is pure neutral. But with the two of these, much more aggressive than that match we saw before. Wait a minute, the one, two, one. Uh, oh, doesn't get the final hit, but will it matter? It Completely the crushes arsenal. it! Mr. Aquaman, final game post reset. And the mirror match is going in again. You cannot write this stuff. And they they both just tried it down two at the start of a match. Now they're swinging here. But that, when you see that someone else is trying to down two a lot, the read is to dash up in their face, wait a second, and then down two to try to KB it.
mean, the reason they're going for those sweep distance down twos is because Jody Cage is standing one. Does go kind of far. I mean, at least the active frames do, which means that down two, shoo it up for breakfast. However, Scorpion pushing forward towards the corner. Nicholas trying very much to get away from that situation. Woo! The slight hesitation from Scorpion Box too. I mean, did not four, but wow, as he just sniped him with a 4 3. In the execution, he said, I got this one. Look at all this damage. 358. We'll throw. And now Scorpion Prox has a tournament point. Is he about to be back to back? Major champion? That would be an absolutely incredible finish. But even though this will be tournament point for Scorpion Prox, my heart's telling me, my heart's telling me that we've got two more rounds left to go in this. Will history repeat itself between these two? Oh, the wow. delayed low, the cheeky stuff, and no break from Scorpion. Maybe a wake-up attack's coming, maybe a flawless block. It's the delay into the buttons that's working out for Nikolas right now. Catch the Scorpion box off guard. Gets the crush, no too far away for the punish, but he tried to optimally punish that with some big buttons. Gives him, gives him some breathing room with that one, two, four. Plus one on block from Johnny Cage. And if you see another jumping a flawless block, he made it down too. He said, I want all the damage in the world, and I want it now. But wait, 56% left. Scorpion, oh yeah. Meter, fatal blow. It, this is far from over. It, if Scorpion killed. gets one good sequence, this could be it. And actually, wait. Maybe what? looking to confirm into throwing shade. Doesn't even know if that's a move. Yeah. Oh. And who knows? Mr. Aquaman, tell the people where we are. Ladies and gentlemen, Six. Combo Breaker 2022. I don't want it to go down any other way. We are in a post reset. It was 3 2 to begin with. We're a 2 2 final game, final round. And first blood going to Scorpion Prox, who was the champion of CEO. Look at oh, And we've got to see a chin check with the down 2 KB. And Nico Loss getting some big damage on the board of Jones. That's a slight help in here, catch up as we're coming into the final round situation here. What's it gonna be? I have no idea, but it looks like the life is almost completely split down the middle and with two twins playing against each other. I mean, it's like they just wrote this in a book. Here's the confirm. Oh dear, no breaker for Scorpion. And we're looking to end. We tried to be optimal, but no, the combo drop leaves him in a really bad situation. He confirms. Oh no, throw it could gate. be it. How much damage is this gonna do Scorpion Prox? Is the damage there? Not enough, 5167 left. We're down to the wire, what's worth the throw? Gonna do it! It is! Nicolas is going to be your combo breaker champion! And the excitement, you can see it in their body language. Look, this is what I mean. Clearly, this grand finals, I guess, was an opportunity for them to just play each other. Look at how unfazed they are. Everyone else who has won combo breaker. They won 45 minutes ago. Exactly. Whenever that grand final started. I don't I know how much time has passed. People at home, I told you, them sharing a grand finals, that was their victory. This was a chance to show the world what they can do with their different, their variety of characters. Give us an exhibition between absolutely two of the current best players that we have in the scene right now. And this should give... They won Combo Breaker, yes. right? And they were just... This should it give everyone at home. Get up, go away. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Because they're having fun. That yeah. was it. I want to say everyone at home, I hope this gives you a little bit of spark to show up to the next major and try to dethrone those two. I mean, because it is be because quite ironically the deadly alliance. What I say yesterday, this might be the year that America could fall at Evo for the first time ever. It's that's an American made game. And we have not lost it at Evo. And we take a lot of pride in that. Thank you, Sonic. But I digress. It could be the first year that they fall with those internationals looking like they are. And those twins played as we expected them to almost in a repeat of CEO and looking like they're playing a different game than the competition today. I'll tell you what, one of my favorite things about different fighting games is the various arcs the community has. And I think the arc that we have entered here for MK11 is the twins. Yep. These two up and comers who have done more, more than make a name for themselves by practicing together, not just with them, but with their entire community. Again, shout out to Top CFA Games. Um, wouldn't have been possible. They would not yes. have been here without that level of community support. But we've talked about it in absolute droves. However, when it comes to Mortal Kombat, it's time for us to say goodbye. My name has been Ketchup. Joined by the one and only Mr. Aquaman, who does all the work with Coliseum. 
the lovely people in the crowd, the people at home watching right now, the hardworking production teams behind the scenes, Netherrealm, WB Games, everything about Mortal Kombat, we're living out here and it's good to be back after three goddamn years. Thank you so much for watching and we're signing out from MK11. Good night.